ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is... It's time! YouTube salute. All right, after I finished working out this morning and training a client, one of my good friends on Instagram, Brother Jamal, he has a business, Black365, calendar he has things um pertaining to you know teaching children about their culture on the black experience and he has a website www.black365.us or follow him on instagram black365 calendar he sent me an instagram post from tony harrison and tony harrison said this because i'm not going to actually Misinterpret nobody's words. I just don't understand how inspectors and California commissioners could drop the ball like this in a world championship fight. Before I um, continue on, he's talking about Jamel Charlo and he has a video of Jamel Charlo in his corner drinking something else besides water. The rule is in between rounds, you can only drink water in clear sealed bottles, seeming that. The G, the TGB provided the water that what was being drank in the Gatorade bottle. Inspectors and commissions on job is to protect the safety of the fighters, seeming that all the deaths in sport of boxing had occurred. But now we have people like this that want the edge, no matter who's on the other end. I'm disgusted with the sport I love, not so much with him because his job is trying to get over, but I caught it. He didn't start off drinking whatever was in the bottle until about the fourth round, until it ended. All right, so Harrison never noticed this until he went back to re-watch the fight because you can't tell in the middle of a fight. Head trainer Derek James never co-signed what was going on never touched that bottle that was getting passed on the sides. They crowded him. It was really hard to see till I watched the fight time and time again. He can say he was drinking anything, but fact it is death wasn't water. Do I want the fight overturned? Not at all. I feel I should have beat him regardless, but I death calling the spade a spade. And the playing field just wasn't even in the world championship fight. Whatever comes from this, for me, it is what it is. But I'm definitely going to bring awareness to the world. And whoever he fights next to be aware, like the sport says, protect yourself at all times. They mean that literally. Calling all fighters and trainers, let's talk boxing. Tell me what you think. Charlo responded. He said, nigga, I knocked your bitch ass out in front of your family, kids, mama, etc. I earned that belt back. I got drug tested from Vada. Um, and he tagged WC, WBC boxing every week. Stop trying to get fan, fans to vouch for that ass whooping. I gave your bitch ass on to it, you fraud. Wow. Um, I don't know what to say. But something's not right. Something don't seem right. I mean, when I saw the video, and like I said, you can go to Tony Harrison Instagram and watch the video for yourself. I want y'all to watch the video for yourself. Like I said, Tony Harrison, his um, Instagram is made in Detroit 1990. Go there and watch it for yourself. And I want you to tell me what you think about that. What you think about that before I speculate or anybody say he's cheating. Okay, what y'all think about that? Do y'all want to see a trilogy? Should Charlo be stripped or should people just ignore that? Please tell me because this is a serious issue because I'm not blaming Charlo. But at the same time, so many people have cheated in the past. And we don't need that, especially in combat sports. We need clean people. One of my favorite fighters is John Jones, and he's used <laughs> cocaine twice. I mean, you know, illegal substance. So, nah. Post your comments below. Hope smash. Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support 
and donate to the channel. I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.